<laughs> there we go. Hey. Mr. Howard, pleasure meeting you. Nice meeting you. I really want to know, first of all, were you at all nervous in terms of jumping from your amazing track record to something so different? Well, a little bit nervous, and I'm, I'm kind of nervous tonight. I mean, I've, I've screened the movie to some small groups, but, but no large audiences. And uh, so, um, you know, I'll be, I'll be curious to, to know what people think of it. And, I mean, in terms of getting the mood of, across at the event, were there any challenges or any aspect of it that you really fought to preserve the, the live on the It was, it was um, That's really cool. more the ambition to try to be as comprehensive about the festival as possible. Really right. I wanted a lot of music in it, of course, uh, but I also was interested in uh, the sort of the human interest side of the story, and not, not only the, the artists, I was curious about what the festival meant just to to a number of people, and of course, those aren't stories that you can necessarily predict. To send people out searching for them, and so that's that's what we did. And uh, I was very pleasantly surprised by a few things that we that we um, that uh, came our way. Well, I understand you actually took a camera and you were filming aspects yeah. of this. Yeah, I don't. What, what I don't, happened there? <laughs> well, you know, it was really all hands on deck, and there was a there was an extra uh, Canon 300, and so they set it up for me, and uh, you know, and I got a few things in focus that made it into the movie. <laughs> well, and otherwise, were there any performances that you really blew you away? I mean, obviously Jay Z, but what, were there any favorites? Um, you know, I didn't get to focus a lot on the performances, and because I was shooting backstage, I was shooting, get you know. I was taking that opportunity to interview artists, uh, but uh, you know, I was I was pretty pretty fascinated by uh, by Odd Future and Skrillex. These are two artists who are exploding, uh, and and uh, and and I didn't know anything about you know going into it at all. Uh, I, I Janelle Monae and Rita Ora are two you know really bright, uh, really centered women. Who um, you know have a, have a have a real uh, vision for what it is they want to try to accomplish with their with their art and their career. Uh, I was I was inspired top to bottom. You know I I really appreciated the excitement and the sense of purpose and possibility that I was uh, uh, finding behind the scenes with security guards and the labor team and the crew and you know people like that. So I had cameras. Looking into every corner, and uh, and I was again, I was, I was sort of inspired by what we found. Well, my last question is, uh, did you, would you ever do it again? Would you do a feature film or more TV? Or? Yeah, I might. I've, I've enjoyed it, and uh, and I wasn't sure that I would. Uh, but I found the editorial process really creative. I had a great support team. I had a lot of people with documentary experience you know, in my corner, so I wasn't alone. Uh, but I was still able to, um, you know, find storylines that mattered to me, tell them in a way that I felt I was putting my my stamp on or applying my sensibility to, uh, and um, and that was. Uh, you know that was creatively very gratifying, and I and I and it took me entirely out of my comfort zone. Uh, but then, in a way, so did so did the movie Rush that I'm also here talking about. So it's been a year of, of discovery for me. Well, I just want to say congratulations, Rush. Amazing. I love oh, you saw that? Yeah, I really oh. enjoyed it. So. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Okay. Thanks.